Stadium in Irving, a sellout of 65,000 to see two of the NFL's best teams, Kansas City from the EFC, the Dallas Cowboys of the NFC. Hello, everyone. Dick Hanberg with Bob Trumpy, and it's going to be noisy today. The Philadelphia Eagles have handed the Cowboys their only loss. Kansas City beats Philadelphia last week, a very important victory. They did it with a pass, and so Dallas today, Bob, wonders, will Kansas City run or will they throw it again? What do you think? Matter of fact, all week long, Jimmy Johnson's trying to been getting, trying to get some indication of what Kansas City's going to do. Watching the waiver wire, I think Marty Schottenheyer loves the idea that he has no idea. Uh, Jimmy Johnson has no idea exactly what Dallas is going to do today. Schottenheimer loves that. And of course, we're going to see two marquee players for Dallas. Emmett Smith, who led the league in rushing last year, and Michael Irvin, who led the league in receiving yards. Kansas City gets it first, and they'll take it at the 20-yard line as Dale Carter kneels with a touchback. Dave Craig, who engineered that 24-17 victory against the Eagles last Sunday at Arrowhead, comes on the field. The former Seattle Seahawk has these giants blocking for him. All Zott, Grunhardt, Lutz, and Balding are averaging about 300 pounds per man. In the backfield, Todd McNair takes over at what is a fullback position. Barry Ward, the bigger man, is the runner. Jones and Willie Davis fleet outside receivers. Jonathan Hayes, the veteran tight end. Burton and Harry come in in the four wide. Crowd trying to make it difficult for Craig. He comes out throwing. And it's Caught by J.J. Burton. Thomas Everett, the tackler. First down. No, no catch, they say. No catch. In the crowd on the far sidelines. Jimmy Johnson right there to make this call. You see excellent coverage. A good play action fake. The official, the, side, the head linesman right there to make the call. And Jimmy Johnson made it first. No, no, no. No control of the ball. Now, Thomas Everett in his first start as a cowboy, the former Steeler. Makes the defensive play, stripping Burton from what seemed to be a good catch in a 13-yard game. Well, they didn't lose a yard, second and ten. They give the word, and they're waiting for him. This is the Dallas defense. Colbert, Casillas, Maryland, and the former 49er Haley in the front four. Three linebackers are Smith, the rookie Robert Jones from East Carolina, Ken Norton Jr. The back four, Ike Holt, Larry Brown at the corners, Everett, the ex-stealer, James Washington at safety. They come in with Ray Horton and Kenneth Gant in the dime. Shotgun Craig. On third and long. On a blitz. He gets it off. What a catch! A one-handed stab by Willie Davis, who is the new sensation in KC. He's from Central Arkansas. Had a big game against the Eagles. Stabbed that one with a left hand. Stabbed is the right word, but watch the blitz. 51 Norton up the middle. McNair picks him up. Pump fake. Boy, Craig stays with it, and that is a beautiful reception by Davis. Just enough to pick up the first down. They mark it just inside the 31. There's Davis, who has been a project and is paying dividends this year. Played in the World League earlier this year. That's Davis in motion. Word looking for a hole. Not much there. Met by Robert Jones and Cam Norton. Two linebackers after a three-yard pickup. Robert Jones, one of the many early round picks the Cowboys have gathered through uh, the Jimmy Johnson, Jerry Jones era, much uh, a part of the Herschel Walker trade to Minnesota. And Jones has taken over that key spot. Very bright. He's learned quickly, has been a good student. On second and seven. Underneath. Word driven back. They'll allow progress to the 39. It was Jones and the other linebacker, Vincent Smith, 57. Uh, Kansas City already showing a change up. Very seldom do they throw to Barry Word out of the backfield. And he comes out. 
They bring in the four wide receiver set. Of course, last week, Ward did not play because of a bruised thigh. Told us uh, yesterday he's fine, healthy, practiced all week, and plans on being a big part of this offense. Third down, two. Emil Harry is in. He's split left. Gun and a completion at the 50-yard line to Fred Jones. His first catch today. An 11-yard game, first down. Awfully soft coverage there by the Dallas cornerbacks. Isaac Holt, 30. Look, he's almost 10 yards off. Obviously zone, but the hitch always works in this situation. Actually, it looked like 88. J.J. Burden ran the wrong pattern. Greg uh, still able to get the ball out for another big first down pickup. Todd McNair split out to the right side with Word Deep seven yards behind the center. McNair a good pass receiver. And they throw to him. Breaks the tackle. Drives to the 40, a gain of nearly 10 before Larry Brown can make the stop. Well, Dick, Kansas City in his first series saw just about everything. A little motion by McNair. Straight drop back by Dave Craig. Good reception by McNair. And then Everett misses the tackle. Well, when you play a big team like Kansas City, you can't miss a tackle anywhere on the football field. A free down, second and in inches. Good play action by Craig. He uh, really carried out his stake, and that's part of the whole Kansas City structure. Quarterback staking so well. We saw it last several years with DeBerg, and Craig takes over now. And, of course, one of the big keys is his zone blocking by the Kansas City offensive line, trying to get a bow in that defense. Anytime you can see this big offensive line push somewhere, you see the nice little soft spot there in the defense. Word sees it, and at 245 pounds, he drags people for a lot of yards, Dick. Opening drive of this game, and Craig has led Kansas City from his own 20 to a first down at the Cowboy 36. Throwing on first down. Caught by Burton. Are they going to allow it? Yes! They say defensive contact knocked the receiver out of bounds, and Burton with another Kansas City first down at the 25-yard line. Again, a great job by Dave Craig. Watch him look over his right shoulder right here. He sees Haley coming. Rolls away from the pressure of 94, and then Burton makes a nice catch. There's the contact. He would have come down in bounds. Let's talk about Charles Haley, the 49er, acquired by the Cowboys at the start of this season, who is known for his great pass rush. And yet, thus far, Haley has but one sack. But that isn't the whole story. No, I think uh, his reputation has attracted a great many offensive blockers. And what it's done is it's freed up the other guys on the defense to make the sack. The other defensive end, Tolbert, leads the team in tackles. And the interesting thing, Dave Wanstatt, their defensive coordinator, said the minute he came into camp, he was the best pass rusher we had. He was an instant starter. And he has 18 pressures with one sack. So he's pressuring quarterbacks away, and then Tolbert grabs them. First down, as you saw at the 25. Jones in motion. Safety blitz. James Washington right into the play. No game. Okay, the plus for Dallas is they stopped that play. The minus for Dallas is they've had to commit another safety to come up and stop the run. And here comes Washington right here. He runs right into the spot where the run takes place. But they're now committing nine guys to stop Kansas City at the line of scrimmage. Frankly, that's what Kansas City wants. Then the play action and the pass down the field works. Washington, one of the many UCLA safety men who have gone on to star in the NFL. It began with Kenny Easley in Seattle. Second and long, word. Oh, my! Driving to the 13, another first down. Huge block by Cash, the tight end. He goes in short motion inside. Watch 89. 
See, good job by the offensive line. He kicks out Tolbert, 92. And Barry Word, for a guy who weighs 245 pounds, I mean, he was a former hurdler. Watch this block right here as he goes out. Everybody blocks down. And Kansas City pretty much having their way with this defense right now. Well-executed opening drive by Kansas City. From the 13, Craig. Is that a fumble or no? Incomplete pass is the ruling. Oh, that was borderline, and Jimmy Johnson wanted the call. Well, Johnny Greer immediately, along with Dave Craig, motion. Hand going forward counts as a sack. Pressure again. This time it's Russell Maryland. 67 getting around Grunhard, the center. Maryland, who was the number one player selected in the draft a year ago. 67 gets a sack, and the play ends right there. There's Maryland, who described himself as a fat kid from Chicago who could barely play to a number one pick in the NFL by way of Miami. to the 15 it'll still be third down and 12 James Washington another tackle with help from Ken Norton two ex UCLA players Norton's famous daddy of course uh, played football as well at Northeast Missouri State boy gang substitution six sent in by the Cowboys obviously a passing down here third and 11 frankly I think anything Kansas City gets here is real gravy I'm not sure they should still have the ball after that last sack of Dave Craig. They've used over eight minutes on this opening drive. Craig, going to be tough to hear him. Incomplete to Burton. Darren Woodson, a rookie on the coverage, and the field goal unit comes on. Dallas with six defensive backs. Four-man rush, one linebacker. And in comes Nick Lowry. This is a 187th consecutive game for Lowry, who kicked at Dartmouth in the Ivy League. That's a Kansas City record consecutive games, and he breaks Hall of Famer Jan Stenerud's mark. This guy's an inspiration to all kickers. He was cut by almost everybody in the league. And now at age 36, he tries to make it 13 of 15 this year. 32-yard attempt. And it is good. It just did hook through. And the Chiefs have the early lead, 3-0. Lowry, one of the game's most accurate kickers, but he, he kind of cozies it up to that left upright. Ooh, cozy. Is that tennis talk? 6.30 remaining in the opening quarter. Craig and the Chiefs using a good mixture of run and mostly pass go 65 yards and importantly took eight and a half minutes with that opening drive before Nick Lowry settles for the 32-yard field goal. Clayton Holmes and Kelvin Martin are deep for Dallas as Lowry tees it up. Martin, the man to watch. A man to watch. He's one of the best in the NFL, kick returners. Lowry doesn't get quite the distance that he once did. But still an amazing foot. Martin at the two. met rudely by Percy Snow at the 22-yard line. 6.21 left in the opening quarter. Kansas City 3-0. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Diet Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Diet Dr. Pepper, the taste you've been looking for. By Mazda. Mazda, it just feels right. By the 25th anniversary Diamond, a brilliant celebration of the loving marriage. And by Coors Light, the silver bullet is the right beer now. Back at Texas Stadium where Dallas has won the last nine times. That's the longest home winning streak currently in the NFL. They trail 3-0 as they get the ball for the first time at their own 22. Troy Aikman with Emmett Smith, Gerald Johnston. Johnston primarily a guard playing fullback. And it's Emmett Smith. 
shirt tails him. Not until Smith has five yards plus. Cowboys and the key here. 76 Allen Vinegrad who is in for Mark 2 and A. 2 and A their best blocker and Vinegrad will have to stop Derek Thomas. Newton, Stepnowski, Kisick and Williams complete the offensive five. Smith and Johnston in the backfield with Aikman. Alvin Harper, Michael Irvin tall fast receivers. Kelvin Martin comes in in the diamond. Watch out for Jay Novacek. 84 the tight end. They like to throw to him. 2 and A in uniform but they hope he won't have to play as a bad back effort this week. Aikman goes long for Irvin, too long, and a flag. Dale Carter, the rookie, pulling the shirt tail, and actually didn't have to, and he let Irvin go. The ball was not catchable, and that's what uh, Kansas City is going to argue. It was not a catchable ball. And I think the officials are going to talk about it. It looked to me like it was an audible at the outset when Kansas City came up with six guys on the line of scrimmage. Six guys on the line of scrimmage. Well, the offense is moving up. Pass interference. 34 defense. First there, down. No question Carter grabbed the shirt. But at that point, Irvin seemed to be easing up knowing he couldn't catch the ball. I'm not sure Kansas City can do this with Irvin. Bump and run him. Irvin uh, oh, over 200 pounds. All the way down the field. He's got a handful of shirt. That may be the only way Carter can stay with him. That may not be the last pass interference on Kansas City today if they continue the bump and run. Well, no question there was a foul. I don't know how many times. We just saw the last one. <laughs> People don't dance that close anymore. 28-yard penalty to the 44 of Kansas City. Aikman in the crowd flags down. And he heads for the sidelines at the Kansas City 37, but it looks as if they've got the Cowboys for holding. They got two flags down on the field, Dick. One in the defensive secondary of Kansas City. So this could be a mixture. We have two fouls on the play. Illegal hands to the face. 54 defense. Illegal hands to the face. 79 offense. They'll offset. Replay the down. Flags were 20 yards apart. Jimmy Johnson on the sideline, and here's the big pass rusher. It's Derek Thomas. He's going around Williams, 79, and there's the hands to the face mask. That was the one on the offense. Meanwhile, Tracy Simeon uh, checking perhaps the tight end. Got up into the face of Novacek. The other early scores on our 10-minute update. Every 10 minutes, we'll get an update on all the NFL action. Emmett Smith to the 40-yard line. Gain of three and a half. Dan Saliamua, the cousin of Mark Tuane. Tuane standing on the sidelines across the way. Saliamua makes the stop. Dick, four-man front here for Kansas City. The new man is Phillips, the defensive tackle they acquired from San Diego. You can see the concession that this week Kansas City is making to the running game of the Dallas Cowboys. We are going to put a fourth man in there. We're normally a 34 front. Joe Phillips flopping from guard to guard. Phillips, the ex-charger at troubled times in San Diego the last couple of years. Underneath, short gain to the tight end, Novacek, and Kevin Ross, a tenacious tackle. It'll be short of the first down as they'll mark progress to the 35, third and one. The defense in red for KC. Smith having a big season. Sally Amu on the nose. Moss, but Joe Phillips moving into the front line to make it a 4-3. Lonnie March starts for the injured Chris Martin. Irvin Randall, Simeon, and Derek Thomas, the all-pro outside linebacker. Lewis and Ross, great corners. Mincy and Bayless at safety. Doug Terry and Dale Carter, two rookies come in in the dime, as well as Benny Thompson. You hear raves about Thompson all around the league, and certainly from Marty Schottenheimer as well. A plan B pickup from New Orleans. Third and one. To be offside against the Chiefs. Emmett Smith, good receiver as well, gets 10 yards to the 25. Simeon and Bayless push him out of bounds. Dick, they'll certainly take the play. That was on Derek Thomas. Thomas is quick, but he had a step start. The, uh, the Cowboys did an excellent job of running a pick there with, with, with the uh, 
the blitz coming by Thomas on the side where they ran the pattern. Offside. 58 defense. It's declined. First down. They ran a nice little pick. Novacek ran a nice little pick to get Emmett Smith out here. This is Smith. Here's the man who's going to cover him, but watch what the tight end does as this guy is offside. Watch what the tight end does on 54 Simeon. Just gets in his way ever so slightly. Emmett Smith open for the first down pickup. That's illegal unless you get caught. A good pickup by you, Bob Trumpy. First down at the 25. Safety valve, Emmett Smith. He's got nine yards and takes a wicked hit from Lonnie Martz and Tracy Simeon. Well, I'd like to have a safety valve like that on my team. Goodness. They don't throw the ball to Emmett Smith a lot, but he is a nice outlet here. Aikman does a good job. Looks primary, looks secondary. My outlet is the NFL's leading rusher last year. Let's get him the ball. You saw him protect that ball. Smith, one of the uh, few running backs who wear gloves, doesn't fumble very much. He carries the ball primarily in the left hand. You saw him really protected as he anticipated the contact. Second and one. Smith again. And it's a first down. The Cowboys have taken their first possession and driven, as did Kansas City, to the opponent's 13. The Chiefs drive stalled. They settled for the field goal. Let's see if Kansas City can deny Dallas the touchdown. Watch Derek Thomas come here. Good job by... Uh, Alfredo Roberts, here's the tackler eventually. Nice play call here by Dallas. Does an excellent job. See, they sink it down inside, and then Smith with those just little shuffling feet makes something out of something that's not there. Kansas City has not allowed a touchdown in the first quarter thus far this year. Dallas challenges that. Just under two minutes left in the first. Play action eight. Wide right open is Johnston. Darrell Johnston to the two. Nice little naked bootleg by Troy Aikman. Good agility by Johnston, known primarily, primarily as a blocker. Will catch the football. Nice play. Both teams, Dick, showing a lot of different offensive little changes here in this, their opening drives. Marty Schottenheimer checking out the Dallas Cowboy offense and making some adjustments. First and goal from the two, and Aikman throws wide open Johnston. His first touchdown of the year. Dick, this is a broken defense. At the last second, you saw Dale Carter, 34, come off the field. They had 12 men on the field. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eight. That twelve guys on the field, and when Carter left, boy, was Johnston open. Lynn Elliott to try the point after, and the Cowboys have done uh, something that the Raiders in Denver and Philadelphia, Houston could not. A touchdown against the KC defense in the opening quarter. Here's the touchdown. A nice fake lead. Johnston right here goes out in the flat. I think the safety leaves him, and that's why there's absolutely no coverage on him. Beautifully executed, well sold. Nice block by Emmett Smith. And Johnston gets his first touchdown of the year. Now you can see from behind the defense what happens. 30 Bayless is expecting the lead run by Emmett Smith lets Johnston alone. He is the primary receiver. Oh, nice when plays work, but you don't expect them no. to be that wide open. 73 Dallas leads. A minute left in the opening quarter, and here comes the kick to the sensational rookie Dale Carter from Tennessee. That return rather ginger in its style to the 23-yard line. Thomas Everett makes the tackle with 54 seconds left in the opening quarter. Daryl Johnston, whose only touchdown all last year was a pass reception, culminates the 78-yard drive in eight plays. And as you saw, Troy Aikman, 5-4-5, five, five, throwing on that drive. 
And for Kansas City, as we anticipate uh, their next possession, which now begins from the 24, look at their play selection, rush versus pass. First five games, dominant running the ball, Schottenheimer style. But against the Eagles last week, they threw seven more times. And in the opening drive, eight passes to six today. What's happened to Schottenheimer here? Call it Air Schottenheimer, but you can't get it all on the airplane. That's Too many true. letters. That's true. <laughs> Craig, and just as well, that one was low and outside because J.J. Burton was in the midst of three white shirts. Yeah, that was not a good setup by Dave Craig. And a, a guy who's played 12, 13 years, sometimes you think that the fundamentals of being a quarterback are ingrained, but there are also times when you forget he did not set up well there, therefore the pass not thrown with good authority in the right spot. Davis to the right, Jones to the left, McNair in the slot left, Ward the running back. Keith Cash to tight end in motion to lead block for Ward, who slams to the 29. It'll be third and five. Isn't that amazing? Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs have, have faced second and ten here. First time they had the ball several times, run. Next time they have the ball, second and ten. First choice is to run. Barry Word, who tried out with the Cowboys in 1989, Johnson's first year, and got word back that uh, Dallas couldn't use him. And he says, with a smile, it didn't really bother me, but you know it. Oh, yeah. I, I was shocked that he said he never met never even met Jimmy Johnson one of the assistants worked him out he had to call them to find out if he'd made the team final seconds of the opening quarter third and five Todd McNair a very difficult chance and rookie Darren Woodson was there to make sure he didn't catch it end of the first quarter Kansas City ran a cluster pattern. McNair just circles out of the back backfield, and Woodson does an excellent job of being right there. Again, not well thrown by Dave Craig. He's not gotten off to a good start here, Dick. Welcome back to Texas Stadium. Dick Enberg with Bob Trump. You're looking at Fred Jones, wide receiver, Kansas City, one of the top blocking wide receivers in the entire NFL, and apparently a neck injury, not too serious but uh, we'll see if he returns fourth down and five and Brian Barker first punt of the game averaging 42 and a half Kelvin Martin look at that return yardage averaging 15 that snap and he just does get it away takes a Kansas City bounce Martin at the 25 and a clever return of 16 to the 41-yard line before Tracy Simeon could get him out of bounds. 46-yard punt. Well, we hope you'll be with us next Saturday on NBC. Notre Dame football returns. Rick Meyer, Jerome Bettis, Reggie Brooks, and that talented offense against the passing game of the Cougars of BYU. Both teams are averaging almost 500 yards a game. Should be a lot of pyrotechnics at South Bend, Indiana. So join us, Notre Dame, BYU, 1 o'clock Eastern Time, Saturday next. 7-3 Dallas. Troy Aikman's first touchdown pass in three games to put the Cowboys in front. on the play. Dick, Marty Schottenheimer was telling us one of the greatest attributes that Troy Aikman has is his quickness away from the center. He sets up beautifully here and that ball is three quarters of the way to Irvin before Irvin makes the break right on the money. You can't defense that. Irvin had 93 catches last year. A Dallas Cowboy record. 1,523 yards to lead the NFL. Trying to become the first receiver in NFL history to log 1,500 plus back-to-back -back season. Flags down and no play. Drawn offside or too quick a start for Kansas City? Johnny Greer with the answer. Ball start. 79 offense. Still first Eric down. Eric Williams, the right tackle for Dallas. 
Young man they like a lot. Comes from an awful small school. But uh, every once in a while, you know, one of these big guys gets rocked back a little bit. Looked like 90 Neil Smith made a move. That got Williams to move. They always seem to call those on the offense. Set a small school, Eric Williams from Central State of Ohio, NAIA Marauders. Of the leg strength of Smith. There are three running backs that Emmett Smith is compared to Thurman Thomas, the two actually, Barry Sanders, but Emmett Smith breaks more tackles. If you don't hit Emmett Smith with a shoulder, arms are not going to stop this guy. Runs through those arms. Nice stiff arm. Continues to run. And a momentous run it was, 12 yards that pushes him over 3,000 in his young career. He is the youngest ever back in the NFL to rush for 3,000 yards. He's only 23. Yeah. Came out a year early. University of Florida. He gets the call again. He loves that. Look at him break tackle. Strong legs. First down inside the 20. He's only 5'9", but he weighs 210 pounds listed at 190 but told us yesterday he weighs 210 I asked Jimmy Johnson you know here in the state of Florida this kid's from Pensacola why didn't you get him at the University of Miami Jimmy Johnson said we couldn't give him the ball enough Emmett Smith said I wanted to go somewhere where I could carry the ball 30 35 times a game he got it at Florida and even here with Johnson in Dallas he wants it 20 to 25 he told us defenses don't like to hear that just has such a knack to find the opening. Great cut back and those strong legs. Not much to shoot at at 5'9", except the power of his body. Bateman just gets the playoff, and it's Smith again to the 13-yard line. Almost five more before Lonnie Martz playing for the injured Chris Martin. And outside linebacker Martin is not suited up, has a knee problem. I, I, I don't want to just continue on, on Emmett Smith, but he's worth talking about. His coaches describe him as, as a running back who, who runs with feel, uh, a sense of where things are to the soft spot. He's not a slasher, but he just feels where that little opening is and then accelerates up through it. And, and that's not coachable. No one can take credit for that but his mom and his dad. Looking for back-to-back -back 1,500. You heard the NFL Today interview with O.J. He wants 2,000. He wants the record. What time for Aikman? Finally throws it away, and no penalty. As uh, Smith was out there. Leonard Griffin thought he had a sack. It was right on the heels of Aikman. That's one thing that I think Aikman, as he gets a little uh, more maturity here, will do quickly. He stayed with the play down the field too much, too long. And in so doing, allowed the defensive man to get out there on Emmitt Smith. If he swings it out to Emmitt Smith, Emmitt Smith is still running. Cowboys with a 7-3 lead and now a third down and six from the 14 of Kansas City early in the second quarter. Spread formation, flags down. Irvin, and more flags go down as Irvin's hit at the seven-yard line. Uh, he's eaten up, Dale Carter. They had six defensive backs in a ball game, came with the double safety blitz, and they had man on man, Carter on Irvin, and Irvin's going to win that matchup. Carter's too young. He hasn't learned enough to be matched man on man with Michael Irvin. There are flags thrown by both the line judge and the head linesman. See if they're nullifying as 49-year-old Jimmy Johnson and 49-year-old Marty Schottenheimer look on. Both against Kansas City. They take the long one. This will be a first down for Dallas, I believe. Or take the play down at the seven-yard line, which is a first down. Johnny Greer saying that's your option. You can take the ball right there at the seven, first and goal. Sounds good to Troy, Oik Troy Aikman. Illegal hands to the face. 34, defense. Offside, 58, defense. They'll both offset. 
first down. Correction. Both penalties will be declined. First in an, down. In an attempt to hold up Irvin, watch what Carter does. Well, that's not a guy you want to try to intimidate, Dick. Irvin will eat you for lunch. Dale Carter. 200th career catch for Michael Irvin, who played for Jimmy Johnson at Miami. What a target at 6-2. And Alvin Harper, the other wide receiver, starter 6-3 and a high jumper of world class. No one in the backfield now as Johnston goes in motion. They throw to the fullback again. Well, that'd be a season for him to get two touchdowns and a half. He had only one all last year and now one today, the first of the season. Martin Bayless with a tackle. It's second and goal. Well, again, they're trying to isolate somebody on the on the on the fullback, and this time it's Bayless who just can't quite get out there again. A nice little pick attempt by the tight end doesn't work this time, and that's why Bayless is there to make the tackle. Kansas City also using zone there, but if I'm not here, I give it to Emmett Smith. He seems to get the ball in the end zone. City tries at stopping this Dallas offense, but the Cowboys two answers, two long touchdown drives. And now they go for 14 to 3 on Lynn Elliott's extra point. And the rookie kicker from Texas Tech adds the extra point. And Emmett Smith, 43 yards rushing. Here's two more. What was unusual about that touchdown on the goal line? It was a delay, but it's a counter. First step, first step, first step, first step. The influence on these two guys allows Emmett Smith around the corner. This is the Washington counter series. Well done by 61 Newton out front. Vinegrad 76. He does get in. Don't often see that down no, on the goal line. Not on the goal line. Elliott kicks it off. A sidewinder to Dale Carter at the one. Carter to the 23 yard line. Darren Woodson, another special teams tackle. And there's Emmett Smith. He is a bona fide star in this league. NFL rushing champion a year ago, and he just seems impossible to stop. What a personality, too. What a personality. Well, here are two boxing personalities that you're familiar with, Bob Trumpy, and you'll see him, Joey Gamache, Tony the Tiger Lopez, presented by Valvoline. That's next Saturday following Notre Dame football. Both men with outstanding knockout records should be a good one. to parry some of the uh, scoring action of Dallas. 14-3 Cowboys, and Okoye makes his first appearance and is stuffed at the 25 by Ken Norton, speaking of boxing. Norton, who said his dad wouldn't let him fight, he said, I really didn't want to either. You know, I played high school football against his dad in Jacksonville, Illinois. Really? I, I know he lists his hometown as San Diego. Ken Sr. But you, you talk about a, a, a man playing with boys. <laughs> Ken Norton in high school running the football was frightening. He said he only put on gloves for publicity shots of his dad. That's the only time. <laughs> Second down and eight for Craig. Underneath, tight end Jonathan Hayes spins across the 30. That'll leave the Chiefs a couple yards shy of a first down. James Washington, the tackler. Uh, Dick, this Dallas Cowboy defense is not known for a lot of blitzes, but they've uh, made a habit of it here in the in the early going of this football game. Here's Norton. He's shooting a gap just to try to get into uh, Dave Craig's face. And of course, when you've got a little play action, you better hope that somebody picks up those blitzing inside linebackers. He wasn't the only one there. Vincent Smith too. 
Jonathan Hayes only a second catch of the year. Craig now is six for ten. And needs a long two for a first down. Okoye trying to move the pile. That's going to be close. The spot will be everything. Robert Jones, Casillas, and lots of others. And on the stop of the 260-pound Okoye. Well, Greer said it looks to be good enough for a first down. Well, well that's a quick call. I yes, would have thought was. Dallas would have asked for a measurement. Absolutely. And Dick, on that last play, at the latter stages of it, it looked like Dallas had nine guys at the line of scrimmage to stop the run. Dave Wanstatt, the defensive coordinator, Jimmy Johnson, head coach, I want to make sure that, uh, that Kansas City can't run the ball. They liken this Kansas City offense to the Washington Redskins. That, by the way, is an offense that the Dallas Cowboys have defense very well. Including the opening game victory to start this 92 season. Play action, Craig. Good blocking for him, and wide open downfield is Willie Davis. First down at the Dallas 47. 20 yards for Davis. Well, they're keeping with their pattern of last week. This is a nice play action fake to Okoye. But throwing, you see, Craig slips, regains his footing, wide open. Holt again giving Davis a lot of room. And of course, Davis has blazing speed, absolute blazing speed. This is zone. You can see Holt 30 just looking into the backfield. Nice pickup in a very key drive for the Kansas City Chiefs. Davis averaging almost 24 yards a catch, gets 20 on that one. From the Cowboy 47, Okoye. He gains five. Norton and Jones collaborate on the stop. Okoye not used as much as this man, Barry Word. Word leading the Chiefs with uh, 406 yards coming in. Okoye, who played last week against Eagles, has 167 yards. And his average per carry is down. Okoye, 3.1 this year. Lots of numbers to look and hear about. But there is a comparison last year and others. His three carries, 10 yards today. Leon Lett, number 78 from Little Emporia State of Kansas, threw his 292 pounds at it. And that's exactly why he's in there. Leon Lett, not a guy who plays a lot of football for the Dallas Cowboys, but they need more size against this running game. You see the attempted double team by Grunhardt, 61. Zott, they can't do it. I mean, Lett runs right between the two of them. Dallas is doing an excellent job of not allowing that bow in their defensive line. With that rush, Okoye passed Ed Podolak, the busiest rusher in Kansas City history. Third and four. Underneath to Todd McNair, struggling but does not get the first down yardage. Norton made the stop. Great coverage by Ken Norton. Marty Schottenheimer looks as if he's going to go for it. Sends in Jonathan Hayes, the tight end, and J.J. Burden. Le Jordan J. Burden, if you please, number 88. Also sends in uh, Kimball Anders and Christian Okoye. And this is a huge team. Jimmy Johnson is yeah. screaming at his defense. What of the timeout. Yeah. And time has been called. Wait a minute, he motion Kansas, the official motion Kansas City call timeout. Well, both men perhaps wanted a timeout. It didn't appear that Kansas City did. But on a critical fourth and one, Johnson obviously didn't have the personnel on the field that he wants in this situation. Well, that, that probably is the biggest change in the game, the situation substitution. When we come back, it'll be Kansas City trying at fourth and one. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Dr. Pepper is just what the doctor ordered. By Old Spice Antiperspirant. For great odor protection, now you've got proof, not promises. By New Hager Wrinkle-Free Cotton Pants. 100% cotton, 0% wrinkles. 
and by Acura Automobiles. Experience precision crafted performance. Three, a critical fourth and one at the Cowboy 37. Very word, he's got it to the 36 yard line. No official signal from Johnny Greer who checks the sidelines as they spot. Now he's going to call for a measurement. It's right on the 36 yard line and based on the yardsticks across the way that should be about half the length of the football for a first down as uh, word needed all of that second effort. I think one of the things why uh, one of the reasons why they like Barry Word in those short yardage situations is he can make that little slight little adjustment to get the first down. Akoye is not a, not a little adjustment guy. He just runs over you. That's a big uh, pickup by Word. Dallas already with a 14-3 lead, scoring touchdowns on their two possessions. And the other facet of this long drive for Marty Schottenheimer's team is they're consuming time. They used over eight minutes for their opening drive to a field goal. Five and a half minutes on this one. They need a touchdown here, though, Dick. Three points going to help very little. Davis right. Jones back in the game is to the left. Tight end Cash in motion. Play action and Craig almost falls down. Davis given a lot of respect by Ike Holt on that corner. Has about six yards. Ike Holt is playing Davis like the coaches have screamed at him. This guy can run by you in a second. Do not get up on it. And we've seen Kansas City running man to man against Irvin. Uh, Dallas's choice is a lot of zone and very soft coverage even those receivers underneath they don't want to allow the big play Willie Davis a great sports name great Green Bay Packer Hall of Famer Dodger outfielder with three dog Willie Davis this Davis has some speed too Brooks contact from Russell yeah, Maryland yeah. on the center Tim Grunard and uh, that's the man closest to the ball He's supposed to be watching it, not playing up to um, last year's performance. Encroachment, defense. Well, in part because he's playing with a dislocated toe that does limit his mobility. Two of them, in fact. He has a steel plate in the bottom of his uh, shoe. Can run, can walk, but when he tries to uh, push off, especially against 300-pounders lining up across from him, a little difficult. But uh, Dallas likes everything about Russell Maryland. Gives the Chiefs a first down on the five-yard walk-off at the 24. Four minutes, 22 seconds left in the half. Blitz again, and they block it at the line of scrimmage. Appear to be Tony Tolbert, the 6-6-M. Well, that's something through the history of the Cowboys. A familiar sight for the fans here in Big D. Too tall, Too tall used to Joe. do that. You're going to see Washington come up. Well, you can't really see him come up through the line of scrimmage, but there's Tolbert getting his hands up. Of course, too tall Jones was what, six, seven? Yeah, he blocked down a lot of passes, but this is the guy who leads the Dallas Cowboys in sack because of all the attention that Charles Haley's been getting. And the University of Texas El Paso. Okoye, well again on a passing down, second and ten. The Chiefs go with a run. Okoye picks up five or six down to about the 18. Ken Norton, another tackle for Dallas. Watch what they're doing here. Watch this safety. When this tight end blocks and you got one coming in motion, he is coming up here to support immediately. He is there to make the tackle, Dick. That's what, watch the safety. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Bam, he's right there. An extra man to stop the run. They're reading the tight ends of the Kansas City Chiefs, and that dictates how quickly that support is coming up. Third and four. 20 is Ray Horton. His idol is Ahmad Rashad. Craig drills it wide open. Emil Harry, the sure-handed third wide receiver of the Chiefs. First down at the 11. Oh, again, it's very obvious that Dallas is not going to let these receivers from Kansas City get behind it. This is a slant. And you can see Holt is off again. He'll let him make the catch and make the first down. They do not want to give up those, those, those slant ups, slant corners. They don't want big plays against them. Harry, who played at Stanford, not a happy man today. He was 
Cardinal defeated by Arizona yesterday. Bill Walsh's second loss. They could get a first down without a touchdown. They're at the 11. No, it's Ward diving to the seven yard line. Vincent Smith down low to submarine. They're running the tight end in motion, trapping the outside guy, and then sneaking Word up there behind him. It's working. That's about the fourth or fifth time Kansas City's run that play. They spotted at the six yard line, a gain of five. Chiefs 18 times in the red zone. Come away with six touchdowns, 11 field goals. Six in a row, the last six, that's not a good statistic. Too many field goals. They've got one today inside the 20. Second and five. Word again. Boy, he's got good power. It looks as if his whole momentum has stopped, and he's still got three more yards after contact. He's close to a first down at the one as we're at the two-minute timeout. Kansas City trying to take a bite out of the 11-point Dallas lead. Welcome back to Texas Stadium. The Chiefs are at the one yard line of Dallas trailing 14 to three. They've just measured and it's just inches shy of a first down. It'll be third and inches at that spot. A nine minute five second drive for Kansas City. Their first of the game was eight and a half minutes and they got a field goal at halftime. The Domino's Pizza NFL Live report, Domino's appropriate, and O.J. Simpson with us. He's the Domino's <laughs> king, both in the pizza and with those black things with the white marks on them. Will's there, and Bill Parcells to analyze the first half, and a feature on Steve Largent. Dave Craig throwing most of the passes to the record-setting Largent, who apparently is going to see all three of his marks broken here by three different receivers in 1992. But what a grand gentleman. Steve Largent, he's one of the all-time... Top he like that in this game. I agree with you. Pretty famous names breaking his records, too. Dallas digs in, inches for a first down. Kansas City on third. Jerry Word. Touchdown. And Kansas City faithful. There are some 2,000 down at the far end zone. Able to cheer. They run a tight end in the backfield, dial 87. He doesn't make much of a block, and Norton 51 tries to stop 245-pound Barry Word. It does not work. 15-play drive, 76 yards. Make it 77 officially. It's amazing. Kansas City's had the ball three times, Dallas twice. There's a minute and 57 seconds to go in the first half. Lowry is trying for point. Out of Barker's hold. One fifty seven left in this first half and the Kansas City Chiefs back in at fourteen ten Cowboys. Barry word his third touchdown of this season and powerful the drive was they call it a two yard run the ball is about an inch outside the one that makes it two yards. the mathematics in this game are confusing <laughs> but it was a power drive yes it was a power run Lowry the kick to Clayton Holmes and Kelvin Martin. Short. And Martin will grab it at the nine. And returns to the 23. And uh, the emphasis on power, the last word. Norton is the man who makes the tackle. The tight end in the backfield is supposed to slip through and make a tackle. You'll see word come from out here. And basically, Norton is unblocked. And watch what Barry Word was does to him. Shoulder down runs right through his arms for the score. That is power. Well, Barry, the word for Kansas City, and now uh, the main man, Emmett Smith, for Dallas. Their number is quite similar here in the first half. Smith a little bit better on average per rush, and he'll get his chance with 152 left in the half. Dallas with a 14 10 lead. Out of bounds, and that'll cost Kansas City a little too rough on Benny Thompson. Out of bounds when Thompson, by the nape of the neck, threw him 
come uh, down, and they add on 15. And Dick, that's not the reputation that Benny Thompson has in the NFL. Number, foul, number 46, unnecessary roughness. First down. That becomes a 30-yard play. You'll see Thomas uh, Emmett Smith just swing out of the backfield. Aikman, a very smart choice. Throw the ball underneath. Benny Thompson grabs it by the shirt. Uh, he, that's not generally the way Benny Thompson plays football, but that was not smart. So 15 on the pass, 15 on the penalty. First down at the Kansas City 47. With 145 left. Smith. Neil Smith. And that's the first time we've called his name this first half, who's been outstanding all season. Someone's doing a good job for Dallas on Neil Smith. They're mixing things up very well. That's confusing the defense, holding them, holding Kansas City's defense in front of the line of scrimmage. But Dallas just ran a draw into a blitz. That's not supposed to work. It did. Protective uh, material on the nose of Smith. There's Derek Thomas, his first sack today. The first by the Chiefs as he finally beat Allen Weingrad, the left tackle. Thomas now with his sixth and a half sack. What did he tell us last night? I said, how's things going? He said, great, watching the Neil Smith show. He's getting all the <laughs> sacks. He said, I feel better. I, he suffered with a bad shoulder early in the season. Now he thinks he's healthy. Got three last week. First one today. And that's his 50th sack in just his 54th game. There are the totals. And he, uh, like Emmett Smith, looking for NFL records. So uh, I think Mark Gastineau still owns the... Uh, sack record 21 and a half although those numbers weren't really kept until 15 years ago 20 years ago some of the old timers uh, are long forgotten who rushed the pass through well but they didn't play enough games to qualify today's uh, 16 game schedule anyway uh, did, didn't Derek Thomas mention something to us last night about uh, Jimmy Johnson got a message on to him that Jimmy didn't think he was good enough to play football at Miami. He had to find somewhere else to go. <laughs> With a twinkle in his eye. Yes, he, he did. said, Howard Schnellenberger did recruit him, but Schnellenberger went to Louisville, and Johnson took uh, Schnellenberger's spot and uh, didn't uh, give Derrick Thomas a scholarship to Miami. He went to Alabama. Third down, 13. Good. Thomas was there again. Jump off to Novacek. The tight end heads for out of bounds and stops the clock. And they have a first down as well at the 38-yard line. 1.07 left in the half. Veteran move by Novacek. Knowing he's got to get out of bounds. Nice pattern run by Novacek. And uh, he didn't make it. So it's fourth down and that much. Jimmy Johnson's got a big choice here. He's already sent the big guys on the field. And Emmett Smith in his own way is not little. He is a big guy. Schottenheimer calls time. Next Sunday on NBC, our NFL doubleheader, Cincinnati and Houston, Seattle and the Giants, the early games, along uh, with our late games and the feature will be Indianapolis trying to rally from 14-0 down against the Chargers today at home as they go against the unbeaten Miami Dolphins and the schedule maker uh, you look at the next few games for Miami and they very easily could be 9 and 0 but uh, as soon as you say that uh, an upset lurks Denver San Diego will be out in uh, paradise Baba <laughs> yours truly Cleveland and New England got to get you to play some tennis Bob Trumpy you know hey, look, just, you're missing out when, when I go to your place if I can just sit in the Barb Dome, I'm happy. <laughs> I don't have to play tennis. <laughs> My wife, Barbara, will appreciate that. It's a gazebo. I'm That's sorry. not a Barb Dome. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a big one. That's a <laughs> really a big one. 107 left in the half. Fourth and uh, short yard. Smith, who else? He's something. Doesn't appear that he's running that fast. And, of course, that's how the scouts looked at him, as you saw the feature on Emmett in our pregame show, NFL Today. But, boy, can he scoot. He, what does he say? I'm a busy style. I'm a busy runner. But you can see the confidence that the coaches have in Emmett Smith. This is the counter. He's coming this way. He's coming this way. A little fake move there, and then it's out. But 
there aren't many coaches who a fourth and short would put the ball in the hands of a running back running sideways and expect him to get the first down. Emmett Smith will do it nine times out of ten. 101 left in the half. 53 yards for Smith, averaging nearly six per carry today. Aikman goes long. Urban. Or is it Harper? No, it's Salvin Harper. A high jumping uh, star in Tennessee where he leaps seven feet, two and a half inches for the Southeast Conference uh, title. Dale Carter is the man in coverage. You'll see the hand come up just at the last split second, knock the ball away. And Carter has been here at quarterback. I don't know where Kevin Ross is. The report we have is coaching decision. That Albert Carter, Lewis. Uh, no, it's Albert Lewis. Albert Lewis. That, that Carter is playing for Albert Lewis. I, I can't imagine why. Here's Carter. That was Tennessee against Tennessee. Carter going against Alvin Harper. And second down and ten. Aikman has missed only on two passes. Ten for twelve today. And a rare time when Emmett Smith goes down with a single hit. Lonnie Martz credited with a tackle and timeout Dallas. 48 seconds showing on the clock. Well, Emmett Smith so much a part of this offense. The threat of Emmett Smith. He can catch the ball. He can run the ball on the trap straight ahead wide. Uh, you just build an offense around a kid like this. And when we talked to Jimmy Johnson, his first draft, he said the, first, the highest guy we had rated on the board was Junior Seau. And he said we couldn't get him. We knew that. And they, uh, of course, that was with Blair Thomas, and the Jets took him very early. In fact, uh, he was, what, the first running back taken. And then they had to trade up. They had the 22nd pick, and they made a trade to get the 17th and selected Smith. And the man in charge of the draft here in Dallas is... Jimmy Johnson, he said, that, that's what I do, along with my tropical fish. I, uh, I keep a lot of track of uh, the college kids, and I make the choices. And he, he said, Emmett Smith, every time you looked at him on film, he had those long runs. No speed, long runs. Rodney Hampton was the other man still on the board at that time, and uh, he picked Johnson did Emmett Smith. Third down. Incomplete. Michael Irvin, and it was broken up nicely by Dale Carter. Nice. I've been tough on Dale Carter in the first part of this game. That was excellent coverage. You'll see the bump and run. You see how much bigger Irvin is than Carter. But he closes quickly, gets his arms around him, and knocks the ball away. That was outstanding coverage. Outstanding coverage by Dale Carter. Lynn Elliott will try a long field goal. This one will be... 51 yards. He has kicked a 51 yarder this year. So the kid from Waco tries to give Dallas three more. No good. 38 seconds left and uh, Kansas City will take over in pretty good field position. It'll be tempting for Schottenheimer who has one timeout remaining to maybe go for a couple of passes and a field goal try himself. He does not hit this ball good. You can see how short this is. About two-thirds of the way back in the end zone. No chance whatsoever to hit that 10-foot crossbar. So it remains 14 to 10. And KC takes over at the 33-yard line. And it's lived up to its spelling this first half. These two teams... Uh, both uh, with eyes toward the playoffs or something even beyond uh, an entry. Triple left. Shotgun Craig. Underneath the McNair. That's not what they wanted. The short game McNair could not get out of bounds. Good play by the rookie Darren Woodson to keep him on the field of play. Yeah, they're not even hurrying up that much. They have one timeout left here. They're happy at 14-10. Stop the ball here. Drop it on the ground. And uh, that's exactly what Craig does, although he almost fumbled it on the ground before he buried it. Don't mention fumbles in <laughs> Dave Craig's presence. That's right. He's the uh, all-time NFL leader in fumbles. And No, he broke his thumb, what, uh, two years ago? Uh, yeah, had surgery on it. It, it. Had to put a plate and screws in there, and it's really shortened his hand a little bit. Uh, well, there's been word that he has a very big hand or certainly a 
average side hand, but uh, he certainly drops the ball. I mean, it just when he brings it back to throw, he has dropped the ball more than most uh, NFL quarterbacks, and that's been a. And now Craig, uh, at the time I wasn't called, I assume there was. Yeah, you can't call two. You can't call two timeouts in a row. Oh, wait a minute! Did, did I miss the clock here? Didn't Kansas City just call a timeout? I thought they had, but apparently not. And he'd come over to the sidelines. I see. He just came over after downing the ball, and oh. now they'll take a five-yard delay a game penalty. Now I understand. Okay. Joe Penry there on the left. Marty Schottenheimer. One hail mary. Old Mudbone was his nickname as a youngster up in Seattle. Is Mudbone? Yeah, tough as a guy in the mud, and tough as a bone. And this kid from Milton got a $250 bonus to sign an NFL contract, and now is a millionaire quarterback, Plan B with Kansas City. Nearest red shirt was Tony Hargain. Dick, he doesn't look like a mud bone to me, you know? He may be. Well, what does he look like to you? I don't know. A professor. <laughs> I, I'd say professor. Yeah, he was a relief pitcher in baseball and pretty good one at Milton. And as a NFL quarterback, hardly in relief at all. Yeah. Starter. I, I, I'm sure if uh, Milton College still existed, uh, his jersey would be hanging there. As uh, certainly one of his most famous they, graduates. They'd have waited a little longer. They'd have had alum that could have contributed yes. to the university and kept it in business. <laughs> That's true. Kelvin Martin. And the Cowboys looking for return. And so Barker tries to kick away from him. 25. Out of bounds at the 30 with three seconds left. Dale Carter there again for Kansas City. 46-yard kick, 10 yards on the return. Well, it's a game that will uh, have you uh, masticating upon it uh, at halftime. Dallas and Kansas City, two teams with high hopes in this 92 season. And the Chiefs, uh, Schottenheimer, boy, he can take about 20 seconds and tell you 10 seconds Houston, 10 seconds Denver, we could be 6-0. Yeah. I, I think he's uh, comfortable with this team as long as the playoffs somehow don't go through Denver. He'll take his chances <laughs> yeah, with right. anybody else. Don't even, just like you don't say the fumble word to Craig. <laughs> don't say the D word to Marty. Last play of the first half, and Aikman will gun it high and long and hope for a ricochet. Goes right to Charles Mincy of Kansas City. With a fairly open field. Mincy finally tackled at the 43-yard line. And that is the end of the first half. Mincy's second interception of the season. Marty Schottenheimer's some business to do before he goes to the locker room. The midway mark of this one in Dallas. The Cowboys 14, the Chiefs 10. Welcome back to Texas Stadium. We get ready for the second half. The Cowboys will take the kickoff, leading 14 to 10. You come here to Texas and to Dallas and with all those great games of Staubach and Hayes and Dorsett, you know, you get nostalgic. And in yep. that spirit, Bob Trumpy, you know, and Emmett Smith has a trading card company now in Pensacola. We asked Emmett if he had any old Bob Trumpy <laughs> cards. And we just wondered, you know, in that feeling of yesteryear, there he is. The great tight end, Cincinnati Bengals, 10 years, Pro Bowl four times. Bob Trumpy, a little closer look. Hey, you were actually good looking at one time. Oh, I wish I had those sideburns that I could use them. I really could. But how much did you have to pay for that? Well, he said that um, the, the going price is $5, but you were going to pay 10 <laughs> What a break. Partridge meets. That long ago, all they made was hot dogs. I'm not a hot dog eater, but I still had my, my mug on a partridge card. Uh, I mean, that's, we got to be talking 1969 or 70 there. And now we're in 1992, and arguably, some would say you're still a hot dog. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's get to the statistics. And the first half, the Coors Light. How could I be such a sucker? <laughs> Coors Light number. I'm too old for cards. Uh, everything about even, except for time of possession in Kansas City using uh, a ground game and grinding out two long drives to get 10 points and keeping the ball away from Dallas and Emmett Smith. And I think uh, Marty Schottenheimer likes the 
the, the long drives. The only thing downside for Kansas City in the first half is the first drive resulted in just three points. The other interesting thing is that uh, all of uh, Dallas's rushing yards by number 22, all 54 of them. And <laughs> Big Lowry to kick it off and this second half underway. Hooks this one, a mean hook to the left, and Dallas will get it at the 35-yard line. Well, kickers talk about the similarities, so many between the golf swing and the kicking stroke, and that one was just, uh, how would you call it golf? That's, That's over-swinging. Your... When you over-swing in golf, you generally hook it. When the kicker over-swings, he hooks it, too. When I get old enough, I'm going to take up that game. <laughs> <laughs> So Emmett Smith and uh, Troy Aikman go to work. Aikman missing on only four. The interception was really that uh, meaningless interception last play of the first half. Just threw it up there. From the 35, Harper in motion. Emmett Smith, eager to have his number in ball, gets only two yards. Leonard Griffin and Dan Saliamua in the middle of the defense for Kansas City. Now here are the first half possessions for the Cowboys for ownerships, two touchdowns, a missed field goal from 51, and then the desperation one play interception at the half. Dick, uh, we documented to start the game that Kansas City was defensively going to go with a four-man front. They start the second half with the same thing, and as a matter of fact, they're not getting six guys up to the line of scrimmage to stop the run. Second and long, Aikman back. To the sidelines, and Michael Irvin, what a target. Beautiful. First down at the 47. Beautiful. I don't, I'm not sure exactly, exactly what's wrong with Albert Lewis or how serious his ribs are, but Dale Carter has not won many of these matchups. Again, the hand on the shirt, but Irvin, even for, for his for his size, Dick, his height, very crisp when he breaks his patterns off. And again, the timing, Aikman quick from the center. That ball is three-quarters of the way to the receiver before the receiver even turns around and looks. And out comes Irvin and Dale Carter in All-America, Tennessee last year, the number one draft pick of Kansas City, going to his uh, master's degree lessons today. They look for Irvin again, uh -oh. and he's open deep. And they're going to be a penalty against Carter, who took a grab at him, realizing that Irvin was on his way to a touchdown, and Carter smart enough to try to stop him. And the flag down at about the 35-yard line. Well, to my knowledge for Kansas City, this is Carter's first start. He has been a special teams contributor. Illegal contact. 34, defense. Illegal hands to the face. Number 79, offense. They'll offset, replay first down. Well... Dale Carter gets lucky here. You see him grab the jersey, but also Eric Williams on the offense, so the penalty is offset. But nice little out and up, and Carter is getting a real lesson in being a defensive back. There's Albert Lewis, and we understand, although uh, the first word we received from Kansas City was that it was a coaching decision, and now we hear that he does have a rib injury, has for a couple of weeks, and with a bye next week, Kansas City wants to rest this all-pro corner. We were unaware of that prior to the football game. That would have helped if we had known that. Underneath it goes. And Jay Novacek, the tight end, is tackled shy of the first down at the 45. His third catch today. Tracy Simeon with a tackle. This is a young man that Dallas relies on a great deal. Miss Camp has a broken finger. Great hands. That ball was almost past him, and he puts his hands up there to, to catch it. Great athlete at Wyoming, a decathlete and uh, was the WAC conference champion. Terrific pole vaulter. Didn't I just see that number up on the screen there? <laughs> 84, it's a good number. Emmett Smith trapped in the backfield in a rare loss as the Chiefs outnumbered the Cowboys on that play and Neil Smith was at the point of the attack. A minus two for Dallas back to the 48 yard line and brings up third down and five. Well, Dick, Kansas City is committing more people to stop the run. This is Bayless 30. Watch what happens. He's right there to get it done. Watch what happens. See, he runs right into the play. There to be up there to make sure he has to cut back in. Flags 
go down. Leonard Griffin making the contact. 63 offense. John Giesick attracted his opponent. As you look at the other scores, Bears still talking about Ditka Harbaugh. Touchdown lead against Tampa Bay and the Chargers looking for their second win with a 10 point lead at Indy. Rod Bernstein a couple of touchdowns. Still concerned about Marion Butts out there in San Diego. We're going to see the Chargers next week. Hasn't really recovered from the knee injury suffered in the opening game against Kansas City. Third and ten. Aikman just did get it away. Kelvin Martin, the intended receiver, has Bill Moss, Leonard Griffin, and Derek Thomas, and it was Thomas there first. And that's one of the few times today they have really pressured Troy Aikman. I mean, Derek Thomas got a sack from the outside. This is one of the few times it has come from up in the middle. For the most part, for the most part, the uh, Cowboy offensive line has done its job, but you can see Derek Thomas comes around the outside, knocks the ball out of Aikman's hand. Well, the fifth possession for Dallas in the game, and the first time the Chiefs defense has stopped them. Saxon's first punt of the game. Dale Carter lets it bounce. No, he doesn't. Gambles. Uh-oh. And twisted out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Darren Woodson, another special teams tackle for Dallas. 11.42 left, third period. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Diet Dr. Pepper and your local Dr. Pepper bottler. Diet Dr. Pepper, the taste you've been looking for. By Norelco patented lift and cut shavers, we make clothes comfortable. By New Hager wrinkle-free cotton pants, 100% cotton, 0% wrinkles. And by Chevy trucks, the trucks you can depend on, the trucks that last. Marty Schottenheimer spending some extra time with rookie Dale Carter as Kansas City's first possession of the second half. They start deep in their own end at the 13. Cowboys number one draft that Kevin Smith is in the game at defensive back. Craig hit as he throws an incomplete pass. Charles Haley. Well, pressure number 19. He got there in a heartbeat. I mean, whoo, he was there in a hurry. He's around all the move inside. Craig did not even have a chance to set up. His first sack, uh, second sack as a Dallas Cowboy. Man. Yeah, just a pressure, no sack there, incomplete pass. Oh, thank you. Yet to get that sack. Ready to tee off again. word only a couple Robert Jones and Ken Norton there to stop him this is certainly the down that Kansas City wants to avoid Marty Schottenheimer telling us we've got to avoid the third down and long yardage situations especially deep in your own end and this one is at the 14 yard line third down a long eight Greg Hill using the menu he has on his forearm that was the first game of the season he had to unlearn Seattle Learn Kansas City, but still uses the menu on his left forearm. There are the plays. The sellout crowd at Texas Stadium trying to make it tough on Craig out of the shotgun. Leon left, but it was Charles Haley who flushed him out. That's why they wanted to avoid the third and long situations. Watch Haley again inside all. And then let 78 gets him to the ground. So Brian Barker will have to kick in a shortened space with his heels on the back line of the end zone. Schottenheimer trying to get the attention of his offense. His, his, looks as if he's saying, I want you to spread out a little more. I don't, what that signal is that Kurt Schottenheimer, the special teams 
coach and Barker gets the punt away. Flags are down and apparently thrown before the snap no play. Delay offense. Still fourth down. Well, that'll cost them about a yard from the two to the one. That's Kurt Schottenheimer the special teams coach brother of Marty. Well, this is not the way Kansas City wanted to start the second half. You go in and fought, get things settled. That first drive out, this is what we want to do. It does not work. And the Cowboys have shown they're one of the NFL's best at blocking punts. Just ask the New York Giants. I don't think you try blocking one here, though. That'll only give you two points. And Barker under pressure to Martin at the 44. He's to the 28 yard line. Benny Thompson, a flag is down. And it could well be on the return against Dallas. 42 yard punt. That's a good kick under those circumstances. I uh, only had like 11 yards to do it. Just grab it and kick it. He was not flustered. There is no infraction on the play. Really? Well, the Cowboys with excellent field position when we return. Albert Lewis has been a spectator throughout the day, and we were all surprised as we noted Dale Carter at the corner. There was no indication of an entry to Lewis. And Carter with his hands full, and so would be the case at this point for the entire Kansas City defense. As Dallas lines up at the Chiefs 28, leading 14 to 10, third quarter, 947 left in this period. Carter nose to nose with Irvin. He's almost offside. They go to Irvin. Touchdown! The flag is on him. The flag is on Urban. Twenty yards, eight yards if. And Neil Smith indicating it is indeed against Dallas. motion 88 offense still first down no one to blame but himself that's right Carter was right up in his face and he was trying to get that first step by the bump and run and he's watching the football and try to anticipate what is happening here he is down here you, you watch him try to anticipate the ball being snapped and you can see the movement just a little stutter step, which is one of the many techniques used by those wide receivers to free themselves at the line of scrimmage from that man coverage. Bakeman may want to go right back. No, the other way to Daryl Johnston, the fullback who scored the first Dallas touchdown, is to the 24-yard line. A pickup of nine yards. Martin Bayless, the tackler. Marty Schottenheimer, a winning coach in his nine years in the NFL, Cleveland, and in Kansas City. And his only uh, source of criticism, perhaps, is conservatism, which uh, he certainly uh, shucked last week in his game plan against Philadelphia. Whoa! He's coming apart here now. <laughs> Looked like someone pulled the plug in the yes. sink. So the five yards taken back by Dallas. It'll make it uh, second and one and a half. Uh, Dick, you can certainly understand why Kansas City is anxious here. They've only got 20 yards behind them to the goal line. You want to get off the ball as quick as possible. It looks like 
Uh, Dallas, they thought Dallas was going to throw there, so they're trying to get as much pass rush. I'd look for Irvin against Carter again. Looks like single coverage. And it's Smith. Caught in the backfield and dropped for a yard loss. Leonard Griffin, 98, with Neil Smith, 90. Griffin, who's sister Eleanor was on the U.S. Olympic basketball team in 1980 out of Louisiana Tech but of course did not get a chance to compete in the 80 games. Well, just know Neil Smith is coming off the, off the field here. His right hand is bothering him. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. So third down and three. They've uh, stopped Emmett Smith thus far in the second half. Three carries and minus two yards. The toss to Smith. Ronnie Marks gets him out of bounds, shy of the 20, so that'll not be good enough for the first down. Charles Mincy there as well. But at Marks, 51, who had stationed himself out on that flat to deny, and here comes Lynn Elliott, who has missed on his only try from long range, 51 yards. This one to give Dallas a touchdown lead. It'll be about 38 yards. Remember, Irvin with, at this point, a seven-point error on the offside. 39 yards. It's good. So instead of seven on the Aikman to Irvin touchdown, Elliott gives Dallas three and a 17 to 10 lead. Back in Big D, Dallas upping its lead to 17 to 10. On the 38 yard field goal, 39 yards by Lynn Elliott and with 7.24 left in the third quarter, Elliott to kick it off. Harvey Williams, seemingly forgotten by Kansas City, is deep on this kickoff return. Williams at the five. And wrapped up at the 20-yard line. Williams, who had an excellent rookie year last year, 447 yards, but has carried the ball only eight times all season. Just hasn't been a spot for him, but apparently as he drifts into the huddle, we're going to see him here in the second half. And tonight you'll see eyewitness video at a special time, 7 p.m., 6 central. Then best-selling author Danielle Steele brings her number one bestseller to TV, Jewels, sweeping epic spanning four decades, war, wealth, betrayal, revenge, Jewels by Danielle Steele beginning tonight, 8, 7 central on NBC. The word and Okoye both played in the first half, and Harvey Williams, used sparingly by Schottenheimer, gets his chance now in Dallas today. 6-1 and 218 pounder from LSU. Three yards on his first carry. I think you could see the great job that Dallas's defense has done against Kansas City today. This offense is designed to push that defensive line back, but you could see Harvey Williams had to stutter behind the line of scrimmage. And they, they, the offensive line of Kansas City has not really shoved these guys around as much as they have in other cases. Watch Harvey Williams. See, that's all Dallas needs to, to really slow down the play and make the tackle for a little game. Mike Dial sees duty as well, number 87. Craig has a man open, Fred Jones, and a first down catch at the 37. Larry Brown, the cover man, 12 yards on the play. I think that that was a man-to-man -man coverage. Yeah, it's uh, Kevin Smith, the guy that can't wait to. Uh, excuse me, Brown in coverage. Uh, excellent, excellent pattern run. Nice sharp break. There was a penalty on the play, holding against Dallas, I believe, on Kevin Smith. And Smith, number 26, the number one pick of the Cowboys, 17th selected in the draft out of Texas A&M. They really like him, but uh, his uh, inspiration to the veterans, uh, Larry Brown and Isaac Holt, keeping him on the bench, but getting some duty today. First down, Chiefs. Six minutes left in the third. Play action. Craig. 
incomplete, but a late flag goes down. Willie Davis, and apparently Kevin Smith, the rookie, there too soon. Well, this officiating crew has called defensive holding quite a quite a bit. Dale Carter's had it called on him twice. Holding is the call. Automatic first down. Holding. 26 defense. First down. Kevin Smith, who set a Southwest Conference record with 20 interceptions and three of those for touchdowns. Yep, that's... Uh, no wind down there. Uh, that, that jersey isn't fluttering by the breeze. Yes, uh, Smith is uh, complaining about the call. He shouldn't. Jimmy Johnson was in front of Willie Davis, couldn't see the grab of the jersey. He should. First down at the 42. 17-10 Dallas. Play action. On top to Burton. A gallon dive. Larry Brown on the coverage. Now, you know, I... Kansas City really hasn't run the ball well enough, in my estimation today, to try this play action and have it work. And one of the things that Kansas City does, which is very similar to Washington, they just put two guys in the pattern. The two wide receivers are the only, only ones out. Extraordinary effort. Tries to make the catch, but... You know, if you if Kansas City doesn't really threaten the line of scrimmage, you don't hold those linebackers at the line of scrimmage. Only five yards in offense separating the two teams. Another fumble added to the record list of David Craig. Grunhard and Craig on the exchange. I think Ken Norton has an assist here on this. He threatens the blitz. And I think Craig turns his head, looks right at him, and tries to grab that football. It looks like that's a good snap by Grunhard. Might have been the guard, Lutz, uh, who was pulling, ran right into the play. Still counts as a fumble by Dave Craig. I think that's exactly what happened. Hits Lutz's elbow. So third and long, 15 to go. They pick up the blitz, but they pass incomplete. Good coverage. Darren Woodson, this young guy from Arizona State, the second round draft pick, Woodson, has played a big of the Dallas Cowboys. He's had the slot receiver. And he's done an excellent job of sticking close to whichever player goes out there. The ball thrown behind the receiver slightly, but still Woodson, good coverage. And he's been tough on special teams as well and takes his spot for Dallas now as Barker lifts a dying short spiral that goes out of bounds. Bad kick. Kansas City won't like where they spot this one. Dallas is going to take over way up at the 38-yard line. Timeout. Welcome back to Dallas. And who is this mass cowboy in the days of yesteryear? <laughs> it would have been the Lone Ranger. <laughs> but in 1992, thanks to our NBC station here in Dallas, this coverage, it's a face mask of Troy Aikman that'll be used in the museums here for the blind the Dallas Lighthouse for the blind and uh, Aikman's uh, likeness will be sculptured in bronze and the blind will be able to feel the inside of that mask to see what he looks like feel what he looks like said it only took like 10 minutes to do too didn't mind it liked it Lone Ranger goes to work and he's going to ride high and long for Irvin. And Irvin got flagged down and it will be against yeah. Michael. Yes. Carter had good position that time. So the frustration factor may be working both ways. Irvin figuring, hey, I got this rookie. I should have a field day. And Carter showing his talent too. Pass interference. Two. Number 88. Offense. But, Dick, I must tell you, in defense of Michael Irvin, when you realize it as a receiver, 
you can't catch the ball, you must then immediately become a defender. Make sure that there's not an interception. So you, you don't mind a receiver with a little shove. And that, there's not a lot of contact. They were both looking back at the football. I don't think they'd call it on a defensive player that much contact. Both looking back. Johnson doesn't like it. That point that you did, Tom. Go back to the 30, 29 yard line on the penalty, first down and 20. Kevin Smith, quiet here in the second half. Able to get around the corner and pick up nearly 10 before Kevin Ross, the veteran right corner of the Chiefs, can make the stop. The one thing that I, I just can't get over Emmett Smith when you watch him play is, is that. Even though the play might be designed to go straight ahead, and you can certainly tell from looking at this that the fullback comes in here and the blocking is straight ahead. This is designed to go inside, and watch how far out he bounces it and still gains yards. I mean, for a guy who is not considered fast. But he they, makes decisions fast. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he has that ability to make that split-second decision and make the right one. And in one step, he appears to be going as fast as he can run. The way offside is Irvin this time. He was five yards into the secondary, catches the ball, but that's all for naught. Goodness. Not a good start in the second half for Mr. Irvin. He's offside and catches a touchdown pass. Come back, they only get three. Pass interference on the last play. Now here, it certainly appears like Michael Irvin uh, got a little too relaxed at halftime. He's Expect not to hear a gun. False yeah. start on this one. He, he's not come back with any real steam here. And, and Dallas had the ball to 28, got three points. Started this drive at, at where? Something like the uh, the 40 or the 38, and they're losing yards. Illegal motion, 88 offense. Still second down. Back to the 34-yard line. Second down and 15. Yeah, Emmett's telling him. Yes. With it. By the way, on the back of those helmets, Irvin and uh, Smith, uh, in memory of a couple of teammates, 98, Jerome Brown, board 99 with Philadelphia, 98 at Miami, and Shane Curry, also a Miami Hurricane. Aikman to Novacek, the tight end, tackled by Percy Snow and Tracy Simeon. Third down and a chief injured on the play. It appears to be Neil Smith. He's had a broken nose. He's, he's got a brace across it and uh, try to protect it a little bit. I asked him if he was going to wear one of those shields over his nose and see if that would make any difference. Oh, boy. Goodness. Bill Moss, his teammate, right into that face mask. That was smart with or without a broken nose before. Have you ever broken your nose? Yeah. You must have. Yeah, yeah. A couple of times I said, and it, but once you break one, it's almost automatic. I mean, you can't shake hands with someone without You're being hit in right. the nose. You are absolutely right. And a, a broken nose is like a hip pointer. There is nothing you can do that doesn't hurt your nose after it's broken. Nothing. Let's hope that that's all this is, is they're really being very uh, gentle about moving Smith and that's good uh, precaution perhaps he jammed his neck as well he reached for his nose out here's the contact pushed right into Moss right well, does get his head uh, kind of crimped over to the left a little bit but he is sitting up moving his hands moving his feet always the best sign While they attend to the star defensive end of the Chiefs, a reminder that here's our lineup for a doubleheader on NBC next week, starting with NFL Live at 12.30. Cincinnati, Houston, Seattle, and the Giants, the early games. Indianapolis will be challenging the unbeaten Miami Dolphins and Denver, San Diego, Cleveland, New England. That is if Miami continues its unbeaten string. I understand Keith Jackson will be a starter at tight end for Miami today and there you see the uh, protective bandage over that broken beak of Neil Smith third down nine Mike Evans replaces Neil Smith Wide open is Kelvin Martin flags 
go down as Martin is hit at the 45-yard line. Dalton Martin's first catch today. Does it count? Dick, this is a crossing pattern, and at times you can get people picked off, scraped off, and that's exactly the design, the, the design of the play. Yeah. If this is Michael Irvin. Uh, Jimmy Johnson's going to be taking them uh, into we the cloak room. fouls on the offense. Illegal motion and pass interference offense. The illegal motion will be declined. The offensive interference is accepted. See if we can find out who is the guilty party. Okay, first of all, I'll show you the receiver's pattern. This is where the infraction takes place. Watch the contact with the man covering Kelvin Martin at the top of the screen. And there was no question that it's intentional. He sticks his shoulder out there. I believe it's Novacek, 84, the tight end. Tight end would do something like that. You bet. <laughs> In a Manhattan minute, which is presently 31 seconds. <laughs> I would have guessed 29. Ball at the 30. So this has been a struggling series for Dallas. Again, here's the tight end. Watch him. He's looking. That is a real pickoff. I could do it better than that. Can't even get away with that in the NBA. So third down and 19. Underneath. At the 40 yard line, well short of a first down. Doug uh, Terry, a rookie from Kansas, making the stop. Dick, Dick and am Dallas I wrong? will have to kick. Am, am I wrong, or has Dallas in the second half done nothing but lose yards? They've got the one uh, punt out of the end zone, getting the ball at the 28 yard line, and that uh, didn't do much with it, but got the field goal to extend their lead to 17 to 10. After both teams moved so effectively the first half, boy, both coaches did a great job at halftime with their defenses. Bill Carter back is Saxon sends a oh, beautiful punt. Dick, let me tell you, Carter's had a bad day defensively with Michael Irvin. He's trying to make a big play on a special teams. Ball should not have been caught. Let it roll in the end zone, take it at the 20. Bad mistake by Dale Carter. Mike Saxon, who grew up in Arcadia, California, near the Santa Anita racetrack. Had some talented feet there, and they often deserve more than a hand. They must, he, not, they must not take punters very much. He needs a new one. He's having a great year. That was a 53-yard punt pinning Kansas City inside the 10. Hardy Williams breaks loose and uh, finally is rattled down after an 11-yard gain at the 20. Robert Jones made the stop. That's Williams' longest run of the season. Dick, it's been a long time since we've seen a running back from Kansas City today get that ball up there and run with some authority. That time, good push by the offensive line. Jones uh, kind of... Drags him down by his jersey. Lousy field position again for Kansas City in the second half. Washington building its lead against the Eagles. Williams shot down. Maybe a yard at best as Thomas Everett, the ex-stealer, coming up from a safety spot. Nick, again, you can see the importance Dallas places on stopping the run. Here's Washington. He's uh, up there. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Thomas Everett, the strong safety, makes the tackle. He's the ninth guy at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, there comes Everett. Nine guys to stop this running game. They want Kansas City in those second and long, third and long situations. Second down nine. Williams comes out. McNair in. Going long. Willie Davis. First down at the Dallas 41. What a throw by Dave Craig right on the money. Well, Jimmy Johnson from behind the offense. Good pass protection. Excellent pass protection. And this is why Marty Schottenheimer brought Dave Craig to the Kansas City Chiefs. Accurate down the field. This is just a foot race. Kevin Smith can't keep up with him. 
Now, Davis not known for great hands, but with his speed, you got to figure out a way to teach him to catch it. He's averaging more than Scotty Pippen, the more famous Central Arkansas graduate. Williams back in. Not much there. Did not fool the Cowboys or Robert Jones and Thomas Everett. A little extra. Yeah, there's a Perot guy and another Clint and then someone like the president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is uh, the language of the season. Yes. <laughs> no flags, just the boys will be boys play. <laughs> You're never sure how these things start, but the 75 is Tony Casillas. Jonathan Hayes, the tight end. Well, when in doubt, end the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> we'll return after these messages from your local station. <laughs> Skeller, our technical director, a hit with appendicitis and emergency appendectomy here in Dallas last night. All our best to him. And uh, thanks to Jeff Cord who came in uh, from Miami overnight to be the TD today. Craig under pressure and unloads this low and away. Ball was intended for J.J. Burton. He fell down. Uh, for some reason, the turf is very slippery here. We, we've seen several guys. Well, you know, they had to water. They had a concert a couple nights ago, and I think they had a total uh, watering of the carpet afterwards. Yeah, we... We know why they watered it, but uh, Craig gets hurt. Tony Casillas in there, yeah. perhaps a little late, according to Craig. So it's third down and nine at the Dallas 40. Cowboys lead 17-10. Coming in on a blitz from the right side. Dallas has done a great job of disrupting the Kansas City offense. You can see Grant just at the at the outside of the formation. Uh, see, he's trying to. Here's Grant right here. He's the one who comes up and gets his hands up in the air, and knocks the ball away. Well, there's no question about it. Craig is talking to a receiver on the sideline and say, you got to read that blitz. You're my hot receiver. Turn your head around. So no 57-yard field goal. Barker aims it for the near corner. And Barker had only a 28-yard punt the last time. Won't be happy with this one. The net on this punt will be 20 yards. So here in the fourth period, Cowboys still lead by seven. Next Saturday, a sports doubleheader on NBC, Notre Dame football, and then Joey Gamash and Tony the Tiger Lopez will battle. Uh, Gamash, 18 of his 29 wins by KO, and Lopez, 43 and one, his record, 28 knockouts. Should be a good one, presented by Val Valine next Saturday, right after Notre Dame football. You go at it, it's out there. Hickman from the 20, Emmett Smith. Well, whatever Kansas City has done since the intermission, they've really been able to smother Emmett Smith. Now they started the game at the four man front. There's Joe Phillips. And what they were doing is swapping Phillips to the side of the tight end. You can see the four up there. Uh, it looks like uh, Neil Smith was out. Here comes Phillips out now. I think they're doing a lot more substituting. They started with a four-man front. Now they're putting that extra linebacker in there, Dick, to pursue uh, in back of the line of scrimmage. Second and seven. So it's a three-man defensive front. They're going back to their base defense. And no flags this time. First down at the 38. 15 yards in front of Charles Mincy. They've given up on the uh, bump and run. You see Kevin Ross looking through the receiver to the quarterback. All the receiver must do is then push that defensive back hard off the line of scrimmage. He can make his break. Nice pickup. Urban, who leads the Cowboys coming in with 27 catches, has five more today. On the right side, Neil Smith. 
Smith is back in the game. That's good news for Kansas City fans. The only man to carry the ball for Dallas, and that's usually the case here. To the 41-yard line, Tracy Simeon, the tackler. Uh, it looks like the, the choice that Kansas City's going with now is, even though it's their base front, they're putting Derek Thomas down as a defensive end. You see that? You see the front. The four-man front remains, even though there's five of them there. The four-man front remains with Derek Thomas getting down. They do not want Emmett Smith to beat him in this second half. They want Aikman to throw it. Second down and seven. See Smith, what a turnabout. Only 14 yards on six carries here in the second half. They throw to the fullback, Johnson. Ooh, what a hit from Dale Carter. Well, he may be getting some lessons and uh, maybe force feeding for Carter as a rookie playing for Albert Lewis today. But what you're starting to understand is with a talent Carter has, Kansas City has themselves a uh, terrific defensive back for the future. Dick, he's going to be a heck of a football player. Dave Adolph, the de defensive coordinator, knows that. And as a rookie, this is the price you have to pay. This is learning on the job. I, I did notice that, that Dale Carter's lost the the chin pad from inside his helmet the left hand side that, that was a nice collision knocked the pad right off of his helmet third and three underneath to the tight end Novacek and a first down at midfield oh yes the Chargers building up a lead at Indianapolis even though Novacek is a tight end you can see him off the line of scrimmage there at the top of the screen Runs excellent patterns. Controls. He controls the contact. Benny Thompson hits him. Novacek bounces off in control. Aikman hits him quick. Tommy Agee comes in for Daryl Johnston. Agee, the backup at both fullback and for Emmett Smith. Former uh, Seattle Seahawk from Auburn. And he gets a rare carry. No, it's Emmett Smith to the 45 of Kansas City. Joe Phillips trips him up. 11 minutes left in the game. Dallas with a touchdown lead. It was 14-10 at the intermission. And then a short punt. And uh, a Lynn Elliott 39-yard field goal. The only scoring in the second half. And Dallas and Jimmy Johnson's crew with a 17-0 lead. As they go for 5-1 and one this year. Well, it's been a rough road for Schottenheimer. He's had to play five straight playoff teams. Houston, the Raiders, Denver, Philadelphia, now Dallas. By the way, uh, Kansas City does not have a bye next week. We're home against Pittsburgh. I know that'll make all you people with tickets happier. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Griffin throws him down. And finally from behind, Tracy Simeon tracks down Emmett Smith. Dick, again, uh, Dallas can be very deliberate here in their approach. Leading by seven, 10, 16 to go. And again, the bounce outside by Emmett Smith. So gifted at doing that. Running sideways, most coaches would yell and scream at a running back. We want a north-south runner, not an east-west runner. But I'm sure Jimmy Johnson says, Emmett, you run anywhere you want, son. 18 rushes, a significant number. Smith, that was his 18th. When he carries the ball 18 times for the Cowboys, they're 21 and 1. Today, 17-10. This is a third and five for Aikman. Kevin Ross, no flag. Excellent coverage. Crowd didn't like it, but Ross leaning in with the right hand to bat it away. And the punt team on for Jimmy Johnson. Now watch the way that Ross, the veteran, handles the contact. He gets up on his shoulder. They're both looking back. Incidental contact. It's called no flag why wouldn't they run Irvin on Dale Carter as much success as they've had with that Mike Saxon who is averaging 45.3 and with his kicks today his average up to 46 that'd be easily a Dallas all-time record Carter lets this one bounce into the end zone it goes and it looked as if that was the one he should have caught yes. <laughs> he must be breathing easier time out here in Texas Stadium that had all the makings of high score and a second half grinding down to tough defense and the 
Kansas City Chiefs, who have not had good field position at all this second half, start at the 20, trailing by a touchdown. Nine and a half to go. Lee Davis, Larry Brown on the collision. Or make that Kevin Smith, the rookie on the tackle, and Davis has another catch. Dick, has this pattern been open all day? That's his fifth catch of the day for 88 yards. Craig, even though I think accused wrongly by a lot of people of not having a strong enough arm, is an excellent downfield thrower, has been throughout his career. First down yardage out at the 34. So Davis, a found jewel by Kansas City. He was a free agent in 90. Drills that one, but Jonathan Hayes, a tough catch, couldn't pull it in. Uh, Dave Craig, I think, is mad, half mad at himself, half mad at Hayes. Hayes didn't stop and make himself a target. And I think most quarterbacks, all you want is for, you know, he releases from the left-hand side, good pattern down him. All you want is for the receiver to make a target for yourself. But see, he never really gets set. There's a big gap there in that zone defense. That would have been, an e should have been, an easy completion. 14 for 27 for Dave Craig. No interceptions. No turnovers by Kansas City. John Hymers came a plus 11 in that category. And the only turnover was that end of the first half. Hail Mary intercept against Aitman. Whoa, boy. Craig had his head turned around by Jim Jeffco. It'll be third and ten. The veteran Jeff Coat from Arizona State. Watch what he does. He jumps over, jumps over Harvey Williams. Goodness, you, you, you don't want running backs diving at the legs of defensive end. Yep. They end up right in the chest of quarterbacks. One of the few left from the Landry era, and he's been a great tutor for the young players here. And it, this is a young team, youngest in the NFL, and playing very well. What a future for the fans of Dallas. Fans that try to help in this sellout crowd now. Third and ten. The sack to Jimmy Jones. And there was another case where Charles Haley made the play. Someone else gets the sack. Flushed him out of the pocket. This, this is where Jones, he kind of spins around here and comes back and gets the quarterback. But you're right, Dick. It's Haley again who flushes him, makes him put the ball down, and Jones makes a big sack. 12-yard loss. The third Dallas sack. Barker end over end. That's returnable. Martin at the 40. Oh, an excellent tackle by Benny Thompson, who is a pro bowl special teamer with New Orleans last year and what a pickup on plan B Dallas has it at the 50 when we come back back at Texas Stadium Benny Thompson both coaches talked about this guy saying what a player how much he loves the game Thompson <laughs> talking to the Dallas men saying hey I'm plan B you didn't want me three times I called you three <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Johnson said, boy, he couldn't believe that New Orleans let Thompson let him, go. Yeah. Didn't protect him. And uh, Kansas City knew about him. They drafted him initially back in 85. Or actually, it was a free agent in 85 out of Grambling. Dallas leading 17 to 10. Ball just shy of the 50. Aikman dumps it off. Incomplete. Jimmy Thompson, that one almost rolled up into the air for a turnover. Martin Bayless, the closest chief. Well, this Kansas City chief defense relies on turnovers. They feed on them. They've had very bad field position. Uh, this second half, uh, if there was ever a spot, uh, you can see the turnovers and how much they favored Kansas City. If there was ever a spot for a big bone-jarring tackle here, an interception, boy, would it lift this Kansas City football team a lot. Dave Adolph, the defensive coordinator, with Schottenheimer. There's their big play man, Derek Thomas. He has only one sack today. Smith, oh, what run. And the fly goes down as Smith is to the 39. Was there a hold by Dallas? 
Well, you saw there, now Smith, there was no hole, so he just was patient enough to take that little stutter step and wait for something to develop. Yeah, he has such great sight. Holding, 79, offense. Still second down. Even though the run doesn't count, it's, it's still a remarkable thing to watch. Eric Williams, 79, holding Neil Smith. But you can see the stutter step right there. Then that next step, the acceleration step, uh, he's just out of the defender's grasp. Gone. Second down. Now Second down, down and 20 for Dallas. Clock is running. 7.37 left in the fourth quarter. Tackled at the 48-yard line, Eight, which will be third and 12. Kevin Ross and Tahan Lewis with the stop. Well, again, Dallas comes out here. Great field position in this second half. They've either by penalty lost yards, put themselves in a second down and almost 20 situation. Kansas City has not been able to take advantage of it in the second half. But boy, well, it's certainly good enough field position to be up by more than seven points in this game. about to take its second straight defeat. Redskins at home. And third and a dozen. Aikman to the sidelines. Intercepted. There it is. Dale Carter. And Carter is finally stopped at the Dallas 47-yard line. There's some justice in that, Dick. They've tried all day long to pick on Dale Carter. He's tried to make the big play on the punt return. And it is Michael Irvin, the man they try to get it to. This might be titled the maturing of Dale Carter. That's the problem with the NFL. When you play football, you got to learn on the job. There is no substitute for it. Could not have played it better. He had Beautifully. Irvin out positioned. And Derek Thomas hurried Aikman at the other end. And it shortened the throw a little bit, but you got to give all the credit to Dale Carter. They needed a big defensive play. Carter gave it to him. And now it's the defense of Dallas that is being urged. Kansas City trails by seven. Harvey Williams. Nearly ten on that first down carry. Ken Norton the tackle. And if Norton doesn't make that tackle, by Watch when he put, when Harvey Williams pops through here. Kansas City doesn't pull much, but the nice pull there. But watch Norton. He's the last guy to get him. Because of the size of Okoye, 260, and Word, 242, Williams looks small, but he isn't. 218 pounds for him. He's just the fastest of the three. And it is good enough for the first down. Kansas City, the reason why they're one of the top teams in the NFL, they take away the ball and convert it into points. Every turnover worth three points. They need more than that here. Is this the first time Kansas City's been across the 50-yard line in the second half? It is, isn't it? Swing shot Schneiderman says yes. 37-yard line, first down play. Williams again. Fenning got something out of nothing. He got about three yards. Tony Casillas, second player picked in 1986 behind Bo Jackson, made the stop. There's Casillas, whose wife is a doctor, a criminal psychiatrist who was working at Emory Hospital in Atlanta, now uh, employed here in Dallas. again and a first down at the 24 yard line Robert Jones brought him down he got kind of lost in the shuffle there good play action fake and you can see everybody's kind of moving away and then all of a sudden Craig he's obvious like obviously the third or fourth receiver Craig does a good job of coming back coming back knowing the pattern 
where the outlet receivers are and he gets it to Davis. Looked as if he wanted Jonathan Hayes deep but Hayes was held up at the line of scrimmage. Three straight 100 yard games for Willie Davis. What a find. Four and a half minutes to go. Barry Word comes in. Great and tackle. goes down. Great. Robert Jones, the rookie from East Carolina. Great tackle. Well, you teach linebackers to go from the inside out, keep your shoulders along the line of scrimmage, accelerate through the running back to make the tackle. And, man, does it all happen here. There's Jones. He pursues perfectly. He never really gets sideways. Runs his short. That, that is an outstanding tackle by the young man from East Carolina. What a catch, but they won't get much out of it. Kimball Anders, second-year man from Houston, now a part of the offense with Bill Jones being released by Kansas City this past week. Uh, Dick, did you just see uh, Dave Craig? He's telling, my fault. Threw the ball on the ground. I give you no chance to turn it up. Nothing. My fault totally. Two-yard gain. Third and eight at the 22. Here we can see him again. Hey, my fault. And with three and a half minutes to go, Bob, you wonder now what Schottenheimer's thinking. Would they even settle for a field goal in this spot? Must be a two-down area. his second interception but again it was Haley pressuring J.J. Burton the intended receiver the ball didn't have a lot of zip because Craig was out of position to throw because of the Dallas pressure ten-year veteran from the University of Washington former Bengal Ray Horton second interception at the Dallas 8 the stymie Kansas City's attempt to tie Chiefs have all three timeouts left. 327 remaining in the fourth quarter. And they have to stop the Cowboys. And it's Sally Amua applying the hit on Emmett Smith. Timeout, Kansas City. They spend their first. Dick, if you go back to the interception from behind the defense, watch where Dave Craig looks first. This way. And then he's trying to make a big play here. But you see, the primary side of the field is to his right. Haley does create a lot of pressure on him. But when he comes back late, Oh, that gives Ray Hart, who's played free safety for a lot of years, just read those eyes, follow those eyes to the ball, make the interception. Joe Pendry is saying that is not a good veteran play by Dave Craig. Told you, Horton, who uh, grew up in Tacoma, Washington, the uh, same hometown, went to the same high school as NBC's Ahmad Rashad. Very interesting guy. He said inspired by Lou Holtz, a Notre Dame coach, and Holtz with his list of 100 things he wanted to do when he was out of work way back as a young coaching kid. And he's made his own list, and he has uh, climbed K2, and he's caddied for his uh, golfing idol, uh, Fred Couples, I believe it is. That would be a nice bag to carry. He's passed his firefighter's exam, <laughs> and he just passed a good test there for Dallas to deny Kansas City. No gain on first down. Aikman. Big play. You can't call a timeout either if you're Kansas City here now. They make the first down. You got to let the clock run here a little bit. Huge play. Zone coverage again. I don't think. Kansas City had any idea that the slant was coming. Good deep slant. Aikman puts it right on the money. Boy, that's that's a tough play. Six catches today for Michael Irvin. And the Chiefs indeed don't use one of their timeouts, and the clock ticks down. Dale Carter out on Irvin. And Smith 
figures here and gets it. Yeah! Oh, slipping down as he made a cut looking for more. After a nine-yard gain, Charles Mincy secures the tackle, and Emmett could taste a big gainer there. You never grow tired of watching a running back like this. Am I right, Dick? I mean, even in the simplest of plays at the line of scrimmage where there, where there doesn't appear to be any daylight, he makes a beautiful gain out of it. Over, well over 500 yards on the season is Smith, and don't forget he's already had his bye week, so when you look at those numbers of leading rushers, he has a game in hand. Or the others have the game in hand, and uh, from his point of view, he'll get that game later on. He's got to 20 carries to this point, too, just about at his average. Well, next Sunday, Bob and I will be out in San Diego where the uh, Chargers will be meeting the Denver Broncos in one of our second games, but first half of the doubleheader features Cincinnati, Houston, and Seattle and the Giants, the Colts, and Miami. And Cleveland, New England rounds out our coverage. Starts at 12.30 with the gang back in New York on NFL Live. Well, Dave Craig hoping he'll have another chance. The worst of things happened on the Emmett Smith run. He didn't make a first down. Now it's only second and one, so it figures the Cowboys can get a first down. Another four, and the Chiefs had to spend a timeout, have only one left, plus the two-minute warning. Well, now Dallas has got to take a timeout here because they got the wrong personnel in there. Three, five eight they only got a, they got 11 it's the right number but yeah, that, that's coach Jimmy Johnson so that's okay here at this point let's not make any mistakes sure. timeouts mean nothing to them leading 17 to 10 but what a change uh, you know Jimmy Johnson we were around that first year when they went 1 and 15 and uh, they love their barbecues down here in the Lone Star State and they had him on the spit I mean they couldn't do anything right and of course uh, to compound matters uh, the handling of the Tom Landry deal and had the hangover and Johnson was, you know he was going to take the blame whether it was his or not but Jerry Jones the owner and Jimmy Johnson his former University of Arkansas teammate on an undefeated Razorback National Championship team in the 60s look what they've done in four years in 88 the last year of the Landry era they were 3 and 13 they've already won more than that this year Bum Bright was the owner now Jerry Jones Landry the coach Jimmy Johnson average age of the team only 25 three years younger the youngest team in the league now and uh, of course with winning comes uh, attendance <laughs> Second down and one. Smith, there's the first down to the 40 as the Chiefs hope to jar the ball free. But the remarkable thing about Smith, not only durable, but it's tough to get him to cough up the ball. And the clock will tick to the two-minute warning. And as he noted, then so did Marty Schottenheimer. Always carries the ball in the left hand, although he's right-handed. There's owner Jerry Jones. He was a 182-pound offensive guard. And Jimmy Johnson was a defensive lineman at 206 pounds on that unbeaten Arkansas team in the 60s. So we both know they have guts. If nothing else, they have <laughs> guts getting out there at that weight. And also they have a heart, does Jerry Jones. That's Lamar Hunt. And he and his uh, company are in Jerry Jones' private luxury box. Uh, Hunt, the owner of the Kansas City Chiefs, a Dallas resident. And Jones said, I want you to feel at home with good friends. And, and so Jones is on the sidelines. His box belongs to Lamar Hunt for today. And the team protecting the ball, getting as much yardage as he can, but not being careless about doing it, gets four yards. And the final timeout used by Kansas City. 149 to go. But uh, with the use of Emmett Smith and that one big throw Aikman to Irvin from deep in their own end, Dallas apparently has put Kansas City in a spot where it'll be tough under any conditions unless there's a quick turnover to rally. Don't forget uh, NFL Live, Old Spice postgame report with Bob Costas, Will McDonough, Coach Parcells, O.J. Simpson here in Dallas. And we understand that uh, O.J. will talk with uh, his Domino's opponent, Emmett Smith. Uh, 
O.J. said he taught them all a lesson, but he forgave their inept play by giving them all an autographed picture, <laughs> as he is one to do. <laughs> but that Emmett Smith claims he held his own. Maybe they'll sort that out uh, in the post-game show. All, all I can tell you is Domino's in that group is probably the loudest game a group can play. <laughs> 149 to go. Nothing to stop the clock for Kansas City. Second down and six. Smith. A couple of yards to the 47. There's the Dallas Cowboys a minute and 40 seconds away from winning their 10th consecutive game here at the Texas Stadium Indoor Outdoor Palace. And 13 in a row when their opponents have scored under 20 points. And here's our Hager wrinkle-free cotton super play of the game, Ray Horton. Size 32 waist. Stealing the ball from Burton and uh, sealing the hopes of Kansas City to tie here in the final two minutes. Wiley veteran in the right place. Third and three. to stop the clock that's the only thing he did wrong a flag is down back at the line of scrimmage boy that could be a very big flag stops the clock and it's against Dallas Schottenheimer says hey wait a minute we got a chance here yet you've got to take the the flag holding 63 offense still third down John Giesick the former Raider acquired in a trade from Los Angeles two years ago. Uh, now the clock does not start until the ball is snapped. There's 56 seconds left. The cheer in the background, we're guessing a public announcer uh, announcing that the Redskins have defeated the Eagles, so a Dallas win would position the Cowboys alone atop the NFC East, and that is correct. Redskins 16, the Eagles 12. So Washington goes four and two, Philadelphia four and two, and Dallas less than a minute from five and one. And they tripped up at the 39. That'll bring up fourth down, but the Chiefs can't stop the clock. 30, trying to read this on, 36 seconds on the play. So there's only five seconds is all that Schottenheimer will have before uh, Dallas has to snap the ball. As the Cowboys let it run down. So close, he grits his teeth. You know, again, now another 10 seconds, and he'll tell you how he could have tied Dallas. So, three tough defeats apparently for Schottenheimer and Kansas City. Overtime to Houston, where they had a chance to win it on a field goal. At Denver, where they had it won. They got one chance. Block this punt. Run it in the end zone. They'll let it run down now to six seconds, and then the delay again. Uh, Dale Carter is back here deep. This is a well-orchestrated Kansas City Chiefs special teams. In my estimation, you put all 11 of them up there. If you hit the punter, who cares? Your only chance is to block the punt and return it for a touchdown. Make the extra point for a tie. Get up there, Dale Carter. Go after it. Saxon hasn't had one blocked in 165 games, so he's tough to block. And in this case, with six seconds, if you're Saxon, maybe you take the snap and run into the end zone and uh, take the safety and not even give Kansas City a chance to a miracle block and a touchdown. That is certainly a thought. Kansas City's coming after this punt. 11 men on the line of scrimmage. Oh, and very close to being blocked. J.J. Burton up the middle was right in on Saxon. And when that ball stops rolling, Dallas will be 5-1. Well-earned Cowboy victory, 17 to 10 over the Kansas City Chiefs. Coming up next, NFL Live, Old Spice postgame report with Bob Costas. O.J. Simpson will have Emmett Smith of the Cowboys. The final, Dallas 17, Kansas City 10. For Bob Trumpy, I'm Dick Kenberg. So long from Dallas.